Hi, so I'm on my honeymoon still, <laughs> and I got candy, yeah. But today, I'm going to talk about paint. I feel like I should be facing that way, because that's where the sun's coming from. My tripod is literally a stack of pillows right now, so it's like, please don't fall camera. There we go. <laughs> I did an art haul. Today, we are talking about paint, because I've been getting a lot of questions recently about paint <laughs> in my comments and things. Um, so to start out, I get accused a lot of the time of being not environmentally friendly because people see that I use foam plates as my palette. However, the foam plates that I use are biodegradable foam plates made of corn-based products that I order specially. They're a bit more expensive, but they're still convenient. Also, when I'm done with the foam plates, I turn them into a recycling center. So I am as environmentally friendly as I can be with that. The reason I don't just use a glass palette is because to clean off the palette, I'm gonna have to wash off the paint. I use both acrylic and oil paint and if I wash those down the sink or wash them outside and let them get in the grass and that kind of stuff, it can be very toxic. <laughs> it can also clog your drain and it's just not a good idea to wash paint down the sink all the time. Also for the oil paint, I would have to use paint thinner to wash off the paint from my palette and that's again very toxic and not good. <laughs> so for me the best option is to use the foam plates, turn them into a recycling center and they can carefully take care of any toxic paint paints that I have put on the palette. Next is the amount of paint that I put on my palette. Um, these are the type of acrylic paints I use. They're called anti acrylic. I really like them and again I only get them when I'm in the US. Because the paint is a bit watery, when I put it on the palette, even just a dash, it spreads out like massively. Um, and since the paint won't spread out in this, I'm going to show you guys how much paint I literally put on a palette. This is about how much paint I put on my palette. That little dab and then it spreads. Me covering an entire painting with like these dabs of paint is not that bad. <laughs> I remember seeing in school kids pouring massive amounts of paint into their palette to like mix one color and they kept having to add more massive amounts of paint to get the color like to go down a shade or something. I'm not a fan of that and so that's what I do. I put little dabs of paint on my palette and then I'm constantly remixing the color because I just mix it in the smallest amounts. And that's how I paint, that's how I like painting. Um, and that's often why you see me painting in small sections is because I haven't mixed a massive amount of the color that I need, I just mixed a small bit. And so it makes more sense for me to do the painting bit by bit because I don't have that massive amount of paint to paint the whole thing with that one color. Now I'm going to talk about what colors that I use. And this is the order that I put the colors on my palette. Um, I have white acrylic paint and I have a big bottle of this because this is the color that I use most. I I like to have a lemon yellow color as well as a darker yellow color, mainly because you can always mix down but not up. So this is more vibrant, so I can't mix that yellow more vibrant than it already is, and this is darker, and I can't mix that yellow any darker than this is. Orange can be hard to mix vibrantly, so like a neon orange, I typically have that paint if I didn't buy that today. But I did buy a pink paint today, and the reason I did that is because although you can mix red and white and get pink, sometimes it just gets muted in the process, so it is good to buy a more fluorescent pink. Next, I put my reds on my palette. Because so I have a bright red and a darker red, I know from this you can't really tell the difference. That's because they put the same label on it. Um, next I like to put my blues on my palette. So I have a light blue, a bright sky blue, and I have a darker blue. And these are all shades of blue that I couldn't really mix with other colors to get. And then I like to get an island green color, and this is kind of like a bluish green. For this one, I really could mix the blue and the green together to get, but it's a color that I often use, just kind of like as highlights and that sort of thing. So this one's more of our convenience. <laughs> then, like the blues, I have three types of greens, and so I have my lime green, which again would be hard to mix. I'd have to use a lot of yellow to get to it. Then I have my normal green, which is very vibrant, and I have a darker green. Next we have the purples, and again, I like to have purple already because you can mix red and blue to get purple, but it's just going to be really, really muted, um, especially with acrylic paint. And for this, I have a really bright purple that's vibrant, and I have a really dark purple. Um, and then lastly, I have a dark brown because it's easier to mix it into a lighter brown. Um, and then I have a big one of black um, because kind of like the white, these colors, because you're constantly using them to make shades lighter or darker, you just tend to use a lot of it. <laughs> um, I also want to do a video on oil painting, but when I do that one, I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial with it. Sorry for doing this video. Um, but I've just been getting a flood of comments recently where people are like, she's just too much paint. Oh, she's not environmental friendly. Oh, it makes me so sad. She uses so much paint. And I'm like, I really don't. I really, really don't. I'm very conservative with my paint. Um, and if I do have stuff left over on my palette, I do save it in the little tubs or I use it for other pieces of work that you guys don't see on camera. And so, yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> Um, so if you do see one of those comments on any of my videos or things in the future, please direct them to this video or share what I've said today because that would help me out a lot. And I will see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye!